Thank you for joining us today. We're going to be looking at the MIFOS X Manage Codes functions in the system. These are the this is the information in your drop-down menus. We're working on MIFOS X version 15.03. Your user manual can be found on our wiki. From this page here, you can navigate to all the documentation you need to set up and use your system. Today we'll be going to the administrative page off the main navigation bar, and we'll be selecting the Manage Codes dropdown. If you do not find the answers to your questions in the documentation, you can use the Answer Hub where you can type in your question and the screen will populate with the answers that have already been provided or, and the similar questions. Or if you still have a question, simply type it in and you will get a response. Without further ado, I'd like to turn the controls over to Sangamesh who will be giving us the hands-on demonstration of the MIFOS X system. Thank you, Nish. Thank you, Dana, for the introduction. I'm on the MIFOS dashboard page. Now we shall move to the code that is under admin system manage codes. So manage codes are system defined codes wherein these are used to define the drop down fields and its drop down values. So let me search for a gender, which is a code. If I click on the gender, there are we haven't defined the code values yet. So let me go, go to the clients. If I click on the create client, and here is the gender drop down selection we could see the gender values haven't defined it and in the same example a client type the drop down values haven't defined it so let us go back to the admin system manage codes and drop and define the value for this. So let me click on the gender code, then define the code values. I will click on the add code values and provide the name and position, provide the position and click on the add button. So in the same way, let me create other gender value. Sorry. And position it as second. So this position would be the drop down position. And we could also provide the description if required. Now let me go back to the manage codes and search for the client type yeah here is the client type let me click on the client type and define the code values for client type add code values and provide the name let me provide as a individual and portion it has one then click on add button and create another business and portion this has to click on add button. So now if we go back to the clients, create a new client, then here on, on clicking on the uh, drop down, it will provide the uh, created code values that is male and female for the gender and in the same way for client type it would provide the individual and business which were defined in the code values so code and code values analysis to define your own 
organization with respect to your organization needs thank you now i will pass back to dina thank you so much sangamesh that was very nice again i'd like to what remind our viewers that we have multiple channels of support out there for you we have our answer hub we have the demo server where you can go test and play and do anything you want to and that it's a it gets messy but that's kind of the point of it if you have not signed up for a user list yet please do so you get quite a bit of collaboration with the community on that list and it's quite nice our chat support is available at on Gitter, and of course our main website and main general mailboxes info at mifos.org. I'd like to thank you for your time today and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.